Professor Retro here with a bit of a news bite for you. I tend to search anything dealing with retro gaming as a whole, and if you look online, you get find websites that deal with news on the retro gaming scene. And today we'll have something for those gamers who are fans of the big blue bomber himself, Mega Man. So, according to OldSchoolGamerMagazine.com, there is a fan-made Mega Man game called Mega Man The Sequel Wars coming out, and, well, I think we need to look into this. So, first off, here's a little bit about the game so far. In quotes, it says, Mega Man The Sequel Wars is a fan-made homebrew remake of Mega Man 4, 5, and 6 for the Sega Mega Drive. Following the footsteps of the original Mega Man The Willy Wars, it aims to carefully recreate the NES classic while giving it a fresh 16-bit coat of paint and rearranged soundtrack. It also aims to improve on the foundation of Willy Wars by enhancing both the presentation and gameplay. Episode Red is the first release of the project containing the full remake of Mega Man 4, alongside the original game's content. A slew of features are added to spice up the experience for returning players. Alright, here's a list of features. Um, faithful recreations of the original games with extensive research done to make everything accounted for. I like that. If you're going to do something based on based on something, please do the research to make sure it is based on the original core material. Smooth controls that avoid our shortcomings of the original Willy Wars and its control issues. I've not played the original Willy Wars, um, so I'm not sure what the control issues are, but if you've improved the controls, that's even good. Redefined 16-bit graphics that use the Mega Drive's superior visual capabilities to their fullest, with detailed environments and elaborate parallax backgrounds. This I like as well. Anytime someone can actually use a console's full visual capabilities to make the game shine is perfect. A original soundtrack featuring both remix of the original tunes and all new compositions comes in both classic mm -hmm. and modern. Which is actually good. I like that. New characters to play, including Proto Man, who can deflect bullets with a shield, and Roll, who uses her broom to mop up enemies in close range. <laughs> That's kind of cool. And then modern gameplay options, including the ability to use weapons from 4 through 6. So there you have it. The first version of the game, the red version, is out, which is Mega Man 4. So I urge you to give it a try. The link will be down in the description along in a pinned comment as well. So be sure to give that a look, look see if you're into the Mega Man games like I am. Till then, I am Professor Retro saying peace out and stay frosty.